Welcome back to the Diver Guy channel. Today we're talking about front flip full twist, and I bet you know the drill by now. I make these videos because I didn't have videos like this when I was learning how to dive, and I want you to be better off. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about hurdles in this video. It's freely going to be about the mechanics off the board and in the air. I'll talk more in depth about hurdles at another point, and I've gone over it a little bit with the more basic fronts already, so you can check out those videos. We have a lot to go over, so let's Let's get started right here with this first guy. So you can see he is leaning forward. He's a little bit back from the end of the board. The big thing that I want to get across in this video is, again, head position and direction on the takeoff. So for him, he has an okay neutral head position. The arm timing on the throw is okay as well. It's a little bit behind and it's a little bit down. And he goes into a very deep pike before he begins to twist, which is a signal for a beginner because you'll see as we get further along, people come off they throw hard but then they straighten out their body so that they can twist a little bit sooner but in the beginning it's better to do a twist late so that you get used to twisting out of a flip and you get used to squaring out of a twist one thing that this kid does poorly is he's coming around the twist and he starts to unravel a little early see he's facing the camera right now which is on the side of the pool and his arms are already coming off of his twist position so it's a little bit early and what you want to see is people twisting over the top and forward by over the top i mean the arms don't go out to the side for the square they actually go up first before they go to the side and that's something that will help when you go to dig for a front one and a half with a full twist he does a good job getting his hands down but you see he's under twisted because he never fully squares up the twist but that's a very good first level front flip full twist Let's go to this next video where we can talk about something similar, but she does a little bit better job of one thing in particular. So she's walking down the board. She's got the hurdle. She gets very close to the end, which is good. She's dropping her head forward for the flip and looking down very early. She's gotta be looking out further and staying straighter up on the board. And we've talked about this on other dives before, that the more you sit on your heels and change the direction to go up, the higher you'll go. Maybe you'll flip a little slower in the beginning, but you'll be so much higher that you'll have more time. Another factor of jumping higher is that you'll be less whippy on the entry. As she comes around, she kind of flops over a little bit, and that's partially because she's leaning forward on the start. So fix the direction on the start, stay on your heels and stay on the board until it's ready to push you away and then you go off. What she does really well is after she gets off the board, she goes into a straighter position faster so she can do the twist and finish it much earlier. Her square is a little bit early and her right arm is a little bit behind her body. You can see that right here. What you want to do is keep your hands in front of your body on the square. When you're prepping for front one and a half full, you do not want to have your arms behind your body because then you won't have momentum carrying you forward into the dig. Let's go over that one more time. She drops her gaze down too early. She needs to stay on the board straighter and look out across the pool longer. Then she won't have to throw as hard to flip. She'll be higher in the air and can therefore control the flip a lot better. She does a good job twisting and then squaring just a little bit early with her arms behind. But she finishes the twist fully and she is facing forward as she goes in the water. Moving on here, I said I wasn't going to talk about hurdles that much, but look how high that knee is. And then she steps out a little bit in front. What you want to do is put that hurdle leg and foot right down to where the planted foot is. See how it goes out in front and then back? Just put it directly under your body. Just like the last person, she can keep her eyes out a little bit more looking across the pool to fix that direction a little bit. What I do want to say is this twist position is pretty solid. Her left arm, the bottom arm, is a little bit low. You'd want to have that up a little bit higher across your chest and that upper arm can be a little bit tighter as well, but it's a very nice twist position. And you can tell this is a meet because she puts her arms down immediately. If the goal is to do a great front flip full twist, you want to make that transition from square to entry very seamless. So she she doesn't really square fully before putting her arms down and that's why she kind of drifts over and continues to twist a little bit. She goes in slightly twisted and that's just because of that square being down rather than up and over like we've talked about.
Next up, we have this dry land video. She's leaning forward a little bit on the end, but let's look at the connection into the twist, how she comes off the board straighter and then goes right into that twist. So there's no lag in throw to twist. She doesn't go into too much of a pike before the twist, meaning the transition right into the twist is pretty seamless. Now she doesn't really square because she's gonna go land on a map, but what you would wanna see is a little bit better of a square out especially with that right arm, it stays down really low. She doesn't actually get into a twisting position with that bottom arm. It's by her side the whole time, which is okay for a full twister if you know how to twist well. But if that becomes a habit when she goes to learn front one and a half double twist or back twisters that have multiple twists to them, then that can be an issue. A tight twist is going to be super beneficial. So start doing that now and build that habit so you don't have to think about it when you want to do more twists and then a little bit of a belly flop on the entry, but that's okay because it's dry land. So we've gone over the front flip full twist for the most part. I wanna show you what goes wrong if you don't fully square out of the twist. She comes off a little bit hard on the throw down, like we were talking about with the previous girl on the dry land. Even though she's leaning, she's much flatter and straighter, making the transition into the twist really seamless. This next girl, she's doing one and a half full, but look how bent she is and then she kind of whips the twist around and isn't tight. You want your entire body to twist together and not go upper body and then lower body. And that's what happens here. She doesn't fully throw forward and then she twists, but her body isn't tight, so it just looks a little wonky in the air. But then the square is where the issue really comes out. She doesn't square and she just puts her hands right towards the water for the entry. Now, there's a couple things wrong with that. From a visual perspective, it doesn't look good, right? It doesn't look crisp. From a mechanics perspective, it can actually stop you from twisting, and this is where you see people kind of land on their side because they're not finishing a twist before they go for the entry, and she's sideways trying to go for that entry. Luckily, she makes it around for the full twist, this is why it's so important to separate the start from the twist, from the square. Every section of the dive needs to be a little bit more separated. So spending extra time on the basics and doing front flip full twist until it feels like second nature, that'll really benefit you long term. For this next video, I want to highlight a couple things that he's doing really well compared to the previous people. Even though it's not perfect yet and there's a few things he can still fix, I want to show you two main things. His twist position and the timing of when he goes into a pike. So. Take a look at this twist position here. It's a tight twist. He loses his legs a little bit, but the sequence of events is right. So he throws and then he sets up into the twist. As he comes around for that full twist, he folds into a deeper pike after finishing the twist. And that's a big distinguishing factor here from some of the early divers who come off piked in the beginning and then straight in at the end for the twist. As you get better and better, you're gonna come off straighter and then go into a deeper pike at the end of the dive. So it's a little bit flipped, no pun intended there. And the only reason it's short is because he didn't really throw hard enough in the beginning. All right, this is one more example of a really great front one and a half full, and then I'll wrap it up here. The angle is a little bit off, but I want you to just see what it looks like to be smooth off the board. Look how wide out his arms are on that square. He's facing forward, and then it's just digging and lining up. Yes, he is jumping a lot higher. He has great rhythm with the board, but the sequence of events is what I like to see because even if you're not able to jump super high yet, if you do the right mechanics and you come off flatter, have a nice tight twist and a solid square, that's gonna do a lot more for you than the short-term benefit of cutting off a start just to get extra speed. I went through that pretty quick, so let me just reiterate some of the main points here. The journey for a front twister starts here, where you're not making flips that easily, so you have to throw harder into a pike before twisting at the end, and that's totally okay. Over time, you're gonna get to the point where you can come off a little bit straighter and twist earlier in the flip. This will open up the door to be able to dig for front one and a half full and eventually more twists. Getting to that point involves a couple things being able to move the board better. Once you're able to really ride the board, then you'll be able to throw into a more straight body, allowing for an earlier twist and therefore an earlier dig. If you can dig earlier, then you have a lot more drop time and you don't have to worry about the entry as much. 
If I were early on in my twisting process, I would think a lot more about my hurdle and making it as smooth and as tall as possible, using my legs to jump as much as I can, and then trying to transfer that into the front dive and then the front flip, and then the front flip full twist. You have to be able to nail it on voluntaries and lead ups before you do it on the hard dives. So take your time, I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next one.